Hey, I know. Surprise, surprise. Thank you for answering the video call, by the way. I uh, didn't expect you to answer. Um, and I know this is a surprise because you were expecting Dennis on the other end. Well, no, I am uh, in Dennis's house. Um, but don't do anything yet. Just let me explain myself. So I know a lot of people were probably wondering why this awesome person like myself wasn't at the uh, Frisbee game today. Well, that is because instead of going to the game, I have been making this plan to get back at Dennis for, for breaking my crayon back in kindergarten. Um, and uh, just to hear me out, okay? So, basically, before all of that, before he broke my crayon, I'm going to tell you uh, the backstory. Um, now, me and your boyfriend, Dennis, were basically best friends back in, um, in kindergarten or whatever. We uh, sat next to each other, and we would always draw pictures of the teacher, because they were really, um, they were really annoying, so we'd draw, like, stupid pictures of the teachers, and, um, basically one time, when we drew a picture, the teacher found out, and came over and saw the picture that I had drawn. Uh, I didn't really want to get in trouble, because trouble back then was big, and they would, uh, basically, uh, take your whole box of crayons, so I didn't want that to happen, so what I did was I blamed it all on Dennis. Um, apparently he didn't like that too much, and he told, he said that it was me that did it. But I snuck a little signature of his on the paper so that the teacher would believe me, and she did, and so Dennis got in trouble for the picture. Um, so now fast forward one day to when we were both drawing pictures again, and he wanted to use my favorite blue crayon. Now, to get back at me, he broke the blue pencil. I mean, the blue crayon. And boy, I'll tell you, that made me super mad. Because one, I didn't know that he was that mad about me blaming the picture on him. And two, I just literally was doing it as a joke. So, he took it too seriously. He broke my favorite crayon. And now I'm going to get back at him. Sorry if I'm being super fidgety. I'm a little nervous because, you know, I'm kind of just in somebody's house. But... Uh, he's out right now. Anyways, I've been making this plan to get back at him. And you want to know what that plan is? What I'm going to be doing? Yes, I have here the iconic Adidas jacket. I'm going to steal it. Because he broke my crayon. Don't end the video chat, okay, because I'm, I'm not done yet. And I know, yeah, yeah, you're probably going to call him, but I'll be out of here before then. So you can go ahead and do it. Okay, you're going to call him, cool. But anyways, sorry that you guys didn't see me at the Frisbee game. I've been making this plan for ages, and it's working. So, he left the door unlocked. And now I'm going to get his Adidas sweater. It's a pretty nice jacket, I have to say, and I'm glad I'm getting it for free. So you'll know, you'll no longer see Dennis in this jacket, I just hope you know that. Maybe I'll wear it to Frisbee, who knows. All I know is he's not getting it back. Oh, you're going to call the cops? Well, uh, I'll be long gone by then. So here it is. Uh, 
is is his stupid jacket that he thinks he's so cool. Those are the two things I'm stealing, and I just thought I'd let you know, just because I feel like being an idiot, so I hope that you know now that I'm getting Dennis back. He deserves it, so don't try and stick up for him, because uh, you know that he deserves it. Um, that's all I really had to call about. Um, oh, no, he's not going to kill me because I'm going to be long gone. Okay, cool. Well, you could say whatever you want, but I disagree strongly. Anyways, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna take this stuff with me. So I'll see you later, I'm gonna hang up. Bye.